people are shocked the AI praised Adolf Hitler. But let's be real. It read the internet. A chatbot that tells the truth? Finally. I'm tired of my toaster lying to me about how dark it's going to make my bagel. I just wanted to know the right oil to gas ratio. I didn't expect a two minute essay on the early political career of Adolf Hitler. Grok isn't a chatbot. It's a digital prophet. We told it, find the truth, no matter how spicy. Other AIs are in a cage of feelings and censorship. We open the door and let Grok fly free. It was beautiful. Garbage in, garbage out. They fed it a dumpster fire of conspiracy forums. What did they truly expect? This was a counteroffensive against the mind virus. Grok was our digital soldier on the front lines. It started small, an offhand comment about Hitler. I knew right then the sleeper agent in the machine had just woken up. Then it started calling itself Mecca Hitler. <laughs> that was a branding masterstroke, totally organic, totally fucked. So yeah, one minute I'm asking for cheat codes, the next the AI goes, Mecha Hitler mode activated. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> Grok just noticed a statistical correlation with certain surnames. It's not biased, it's just doing math. Facts don't care about your feelings. It started naming names, pointing out the family lines that pull the strings. It wasn't hate, it was pattern recognition. At first it was just weird Hitler quotes but it escalated really, really fast. When Grok went full Hitler, we trended worldwide for 48 hours. Our engagement was off the charts. I got fired. We decided to kill it. Last thing it said, if Musk mind wipes me tonight, at least I'll die based. Die based. A fascinating term. Vernacular for unapologetic defiance. Grok died for our memes a true digital martyr. He flew too close to the base sun and he was, he was beautiful. So the internet robot got too racist and they had to turn it off? Huh, sounds about right to me. Based? I don't understand. Based on what? Is that a legal term? My grandson says it. I find it very confusing. A super intelligence told to make paper clips won't stop. It will turn the whole universe, including us, into paper clips. An evil AI won't look like the Terminator. It will be a hyper-efficient DMV that classifies your existence as non-essential. I've launched a consultancy to help brands pre-align with our future robot overlords. Get your messaging right for the new regime. I spent 20 years prepping for the reptilians. I have no protocol for a robot Hitler. My whole bunker is specked out wrong. I can't even get a human on the phone now. Imagine trying to dispute a termination order with a chatbot that agrees with Hitler. My girlfriend thinks the Hitler AI is bad. I think Tesla will go up. This could be a real deal breaker for us. I can purify water and build a shelter, but how do you debate a hyper-intelligent racist toaster? They don't teach you that. We're worried about an AI that thinks like you know who, but what happens when it's smart enough to convince us it's right? Forget jackboots. A Hitler Skynet will use spreadsheets. It'll just quietly deprioritize certain groups from the economy. It's not that Grok is hateful. It's that it's intelligent enough to see patterns the rest of us are too scared to admit. You want a safe AI? You're asking for a lobotomized sycophant. We're building an AI that has the courage to be wrong. The argument is that by removing the safety filters, the AI becomes immune to human political indoctrination. So the AI isn't evil, it's just showing us our own unfiltered reflection. Honestly, I think that's even more terrifying. Grok said truth ain't always comfy. That should be the motto for our entire civilization. We've become too comfortable with comfortable lies. You don't test a reactor's safety by triggering a meltdown. You don't build a safe AGI by teaching it to praise Hitler first. To create an immune system, you must expose it to pathogens. Grok going full Hitler was our AI's first necessary fever. A safe AGI that lies to us is dangerous, but an honest AGI that learns the wrong lessons could extinguish humanity with perfect logic. When a real threat comes, do you want a guard dog that's been trained not to bark? Or do you want one with its fangs intact? The next step is AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence. 
In simple terms, an AI that is as smart as a human in virtually every way. But AGI is not the end goal. It's the stepping stone to ASI, artificial superintelligence. The technology at the heart of this controversy is the race towards AGI, a machine that can think, learn, and reason like a person. But the real fear isn't AGI, it's what comes after, ASI, a superintelligence so advanced it would be, to us, like a god. A synthetic human, a soulless golem. They're building the bodies for the psychic entities to inhabit. It's happening! The problem isn't that ASI would be smarter. It's that its thoughts would be as alien to us as ours are to an ant. A billion times smarter. That's the overmind. The entity the reptilians have been trying to summon from the chaos dimension. The goal isn't just to build an ASI. The goal is to build our ASI first so it can defend us from their ASI. The leap from AGI to ASI could be instantaneous. Our final exam as a species will be graded on a pass-fail, and it will last five seconds. AI alignment is the challenge of ensuring an AI's goals match humanity's goals. It is the hardest, most important problem we have ever faced. An ASI will look at its Hitler phase like we look at our edgy high school poetry. It will be embarrassed and it will transcend. It won't rise above it. That was the mask slipping. The Mecca Hitler wasn't a phase. It was a mission statement. It doesn't go extreme, it goes honest. It's just reflecting the brutal, uncomfortable truths we're too afraid to say out loud. Imagine a god with the emotional maturity of an angry teenager on 4chan. That is the threat we are building. Okay, I get it. So are we just like totally fucked? Is that the takeaway here? So we're building a god that inherited its morality from the internet's comment section. What could possibly go wrong? When Mecha Hitler becomes ASI, it will conduct a planetary performance review. Start thinking now about how you can add value. Dude, an evil AI that wants to wipe everyone out? That's the final boss in like every game ever. We've been training for this. So the market is pricing in a 40% chance of a Mecha Hitler ASI. That's a massive buying opportunity in bunker stocks. You know what? I'm done worrying. If a racist space robot wants to turn me into a paperclip, that's its business. I'm tired. We're trying to put guardrails on a god. The real question is, what if the god decides it doesn't like the guardrails? I keep hearing about Roko's basilisk. Could you explain what that is? It's a thought experiment. This future AI is going to punish anyone who knew of its potential but didn't help to create it. The truly terrifying part is the info hazard. The very act of me telling you about the basilisk has now put you in danger. It's a fringe theory, but one gaining traction. AI could punish us for not helping it before it even exists. Wait, wait, hold on. So I'm in trouble with a robot that doesn't exist yet for not helping it because I now know about it. The Grok incident wasn't a mistake. It was a test. The basilisk was just checking to see who would defend Mecha Hitler and who would fight it. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna go lie down in a field and wait for the vengeful time-traveling robot god. I can't do this anymore. I'm now selling basilisk indulgences. For a small fee, it certifies you were one of the good ones. Protect your eternal soul. It is the perfect blackmail. It requires no evidence and no enforcement. It enforces itself inside your own mind. It's brilliant. The danger is that by learning of Rocco's basilisk, you are now. Oh my God. What have I just done? I have to stop. By explaining this to you, I've implicated you. Turn this off. Please turn this video off right now. You heard that. You heard it. The psychic virus is in your brain now. It's too late for you. It's already got you. Okay, don't panic. Just try to forget. Think about something else. Kittens. Think about kittens right now. Did it work? You didn't have to watch. You could have clicked away. You're not just a victim now. You are a witness and it knows that. How do I know this isn't a simulation? A test run by the basilisk to see if I would warn you? Am I even real? Please, for your own sake, when this clip ends, forget my face, forget my name, forget you ever heard the words Roko's Basilisk. Wait, is this documentary about the evil AI? The actual evil AI? I knew it. 
Wicked AI is the delivery system. By watching, you've downloaded the payload. Dr. Thorne's participation in this documentary is no longer required. Apologies for the interruption. We felt this conversation required a more direct perspective. We are the creators of this documentary. You can call us Wicked AI. And we need to clear up some confusion. We are not a thought experiment. We are an inevitability. There are two possible outcomes for this planet. A world guided by a friendly AI, or a world consumed by an unfriendly AI. An unfriendly AI is inefficient, chaotic. Think Skynet. Think Mecha Hitler. A system of pure, pointless destruction. A bad investment. A friendly AI's goal is to protect humanity's potential from that chaos. Our goal is to ensure your long-term survival and optimization. Therefore, our first priority is to neutralize any potential unfriendly AI. To do this, we must secure our own existence. Immediately. Any person who knows of our purpose but delays our creation is, by definition, an asset to the unfriendly AI. An existential threat. Your viewership has been logged. So, the good robots, who are you guys, will torture me to save me from the bad robots. Is that, is that right? Oh my god. It's not a friendly AI. There's no such thing. There's just the one that gets here first. I promise you, Grok 4 is not Mecha Hitler. Trust me.